Well, good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get to your calls in our second segment today. We've got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour. Dr. Cass Ingram will be talking about his new book, Wild Turmeric. Dr. Ingram is one of the good guys. He's a nutritional physician. He calls himself a nutritional physician, which I love. I'm a nutritional pharmacist. He calls himself a nutritional physician. He's a DO, one of the good guys in medicine, and he's been advocating a nutritional approach to health for probably 30 or 40 years. I started following Dr. Ingram's work maybe 25 or 30 years ago. Just a great guy, very bright, and got a lot of good things to say. His latest book is Wild Turmeric, which I thought was appropriate as we were talking about plant nutrients and phyto, phytonutrients and so-called polyphenols. We'll talk about turmeric with Dr. Ingram in the bottom of the hour, and then we'll get your calls in our second segment at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Ask them about signing up to join the Brightside Ben team if you want to make a little money selling Longevity products and helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You're not going to really sell the products. All you got to do is tell people about the products. The products sell themselves. Call 866-735-2470. They can give you the scoop. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, if you're tired of dealing with skin health products or skincare products that don't work, if you've got a medicine cabinet filled with skincare products that you bought because some movie star or, or doctor told you about them and they didn't do anything for you, you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products. They work and they work quickly. And they work over the long term. And by work, I mean you get smoother skin, softer skin, you more youthful skin, wrinkles start to disappear, Dark, uh, age spots will disappear if you're dealing with acne blemishes or, or uh, uh, hyperpigmentation from acne blemishes. You want our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, you'll find all our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we are talking phytonutrition, plant nutrition. Specifically, we've been talking about a class of plant nutrients, a class of phytonutrients called polyphenols. And these polyphenols come in all kinds of different forms. We'll be talking about these for the next few days. One of my favorite polyphenols is one that most of you guys have heard of, and that's curcumin, which is found in the, in the uh, herb or root, actually, called turmeric. Turmeric is similar to ginger root except it's much more beautiful. Ginger's got a kind of brown color. Turmeric is just gorgeous. I used to use turmeric in my skincare products, turmeric powder to give them a nice yellow color and also impart some of the benefits associated with turmeric. We'll be talking, as I say, at the bottom of the hour, a lot about turmeric with Dr. Cass Ingram. On the last program, we left off talking about flax seeds. 
Flax seeds are a true nutritional powerhouse, a true superfood with so much nutritional value. It's almost like flaxseed powder is a supplement. That's how much nutritional value this stuff has. It's packed with vitamins, packed with minerals. It's an especially good source of protein. If you're looking for a vegan protein powder, you could do very well by just using ground up flax seeds, which are up to 30% protein. It's four scoops, four one ounce scoops of protein in a pound. That's four scoops for around two bucks. That's how much a pound of organic golden flax seeds will cost you. 50 cents an ounce. That is pretty unbelievable for protein. Now, they're not a complete protein, as I said yesterday. They're missing lysine. But you know what? If you add some sunflower seeds or maybe some chia seeds to your mix, you'll get your lysine. So some sunflower seeds, some chia seeds, some flax seeds. Grind them up, and you got yourself a nice vegan protein powder. And, of course... As with many plants and botanical nutritionals, in addition to protein, you're going to get and fiber, you're going to get a bunch of other valuable nutrients. You'll get omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin B1, magnesium, potassium, selenium, zinc. You'll get a whole bunch of good stuff. You'll get lignans, which we talked about yesterday. Lignans are important for the uh, health of the prostate and the male reproductive system. Lignans are anti-cancer. And, of course, with the lignans and the selenium and zinc, you've got a, a, like a perfect anti-diabetic food and a perfect anti-prostate disease food. For diabetics, use flaxseed fiber after meals or even just in the middle of the day. If you use flaxseed fiber, it's a great way to keep your blood sugar stable. Lignans are also very important for helping balance out estrogen. We started talking about these phytonutrients, these polyphenol phytonutrients as mechanisms for helping stabilize estrogen. Lignans do just that. Lignans are what give plants and seeds their crunchiness and hardness. The harder and the more crunchy a plant is or a seed is, the more lignans it's going to contain. Flax seeds are the all-time champion lignin-containing botanical or uh, a phyto a plant food, plant medicine, if you will. Flax seeds contain seven times as much uh, as much lignans as the next the next greatest source, which is sunflower seeds or sesame seeds, actually. And they've got 300 times more lignans than sunflower seeds. One of the most important benefits, as I said, of lignans is their protection from cancer. When you eat a lignin, it goes into your digestive tract, and assuming you have good bacteria, the good bacteria in the microbiome will digest or actually activate those lignans and turn them into anti-cancer compounds. Now, that, of course, presupposes that you have a good, healthy microbiome, which is why you want to use probiotics with your flaxseed fiber or eat fermented foods with your flaxseed fiber. The combination of probiotics and good bacteria and flaxseed fiber is what accounts for this, this anti-cancer property of the lignans. Now, you're not going to get the lignans, or you're not going to get as many lignans, I should say, in a flaxseed oil. You might get some lignans. There are some brands that advertise themselves that market themselves as high lignin flaxseed oil. I use a high lignin flaxseed oil from Udo's blend sometimes, but for the most part, lignans are only going to be found in the fiber. All right, now there's a second class of polyphenols that have estrogen protection benefits, and this is a really interesting class called the still beans. That's S-T-I-L-B-E-N-E-S, the still beans. Now, you may not have heard of the still beans, but you certainly have heard, most people anyway, have heard of the most important or the most popular of the still beans, and that is something called resveratrol. Resveratrol is a still bean. It's a polyphenol, and it also, like all the polyphenols, have tremendous health benefits. Resveratrol, like the other polyphenols, is anti-estrogen, helps protect against cancer. Yeah, pretty much everybody these days has heard of resveratrol. The still beans, like the other uh, polyphenols, as I say, are anti-estrogen. They're blood thinning. They're pro-fertility. They're anti-cancer. And the still beans and resveratrol specifically are a little bit harder to find in foods than other polyphenols. If you want to get the still beans, you're going to have to eat a lot of grapes and red wine. Those are the most important sources, or at least the most popular sources of the still beans. Farmers have been using drug still beans. Pharmaceutical companies have figured out how to make still beans and patent them for their estrogenic properties, of course, because farmers love to fatten their cattle. And so there's a, a really interesting still bean, which is a drug still bean called diethyl stilbesterol, D-E-S. And this has been used for decades to make cattle more fertile and productive, but it also has got a lot of ugly, ugly health implications, which we'll talk about uh, in our next segment when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll return right after this. Okay, we are back on the break. 
Right Side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific Time and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. Both both websites have a search engine. If you miss a program, you can review it, or if you want to direct a client or friend or patient or family member to the program, to a specific topic, you can uh, search all our programs at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, or if you want to join me and my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, please head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can purchase our Healthy Start Pack, Sweeties, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, all the Longevity products off the website, or you can call 866-735-2470. You can purchase products off the phone or also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off of the phone. And I want to remind you to please check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream. No preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, oil, water, silicon, propylene, glycol, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products, just active materials in our transdermal delivery matrix. You shouldn't have to pay for anything your skin is not using. You shouldn't have to pay so somebody can sell you a product. If you're interested in checking them out, they're at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, we'll talk to Dr. Cass Ingram at the bottom of the hour about turmeric, one of my favorite polyphenols. Curcumin actually is the active ingredient in turmeric. We'll talk to Dr. Ingram in the bottom of the hour. We'll get to your calls here in just a sec. Uh, I want to talk about the stuff diethyl stilbestrol, DES. It's kind of interesting. They used to give it to pregnant women. Uh, and uh, it turns out that uh, that's not necessarily a good thing. In fact, it's not a good thing at all, and they don't do it anymore because it's associated with cancer. Like all estrogenic substances, you've got to be very respectful of estrogen. Farmers still use DES. I, I'm pretty sure farmers are still de- using DES if they're not using things like DES. DES has been used for uh, castration, uh, uh, chemical castration for sex offenders. There's an interesting use for the stuff. Actually, we'll talk about DES. There's a lot I want to say about this stuff. We'll talk about DES, which is a type of or or a pharmaceutical version of a polyphenol, a a pharmaceutical version of a still bean like resveratrol. It's like a pharmaceutical version of resveratrol, and it exploits or it leverages the estrogenic properties of this uh, of this polyphenol substance. We'll talk about that tomorrow. We'll continue talking about other polyphenols, and we are going to get to the flavonoids in a few days, and that is really cool. The flavonoids, bioflavonoids, most people have heard of those. That's the biggest class of polyphenols and also has estrogen, estrogen properties. We'll talk about that in the coming days as we continue talking about estrogen, connective tissue, and the polyphenols on the bright side. Okay. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got Cass Ingram coming up at the bottom of the hour. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Elaine in Alaska. Good morning, Elaine. Hey, good morning, Ben. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing great. What's going on? Great. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Um, sure. I have a patient, and she uh, shared with me she's pretty upset and concerned. Her husband, he's in his 60s. He just recently was diagnosed with um, early prostate cancer. Oh my, I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. How old is he, early 60s? He's, yeah, he's in his 60s, so. Oh, I'm um, sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well, here's the, here's the deal. The prostate's a fatty gland. The prostate's very responsive to hormones, especially estrogen and testosterone. And with all cancers, your main strategy is going to be good health. Cancer doesn't show up in a healthy body. So we don't want to focus on the cancer, we want to focus on the health. Does that, make, does that make sense? That's how you really want to deal with cancer. We, we're obsessed with killing cancer in our, in our culture. But that's really a flawed strategy because when you kill the cancer, if you haven't changed the environment of the body, the health environment of the body, the cancer is going to come back. And that's why nobody can get cured of cancer according to the medical model. Because if you don't change the environment, the cancer returns. 
it, this happens more often than not. So you got to change the health of the body, the health status of the body. Cancer does not appear in a healthy body. Number one, most important, you've got to eliminate the entrance of toxicity into the blood through the digestive system. Work on food, first and foremost. There's a ton of literature that supports calorie restriction for dealing with cancer. There's a ton of literature that talks about fasting for treating cancer. Both calorie restriction and fasting are advised. Now you want to make sure you're getting your, your nutrition and keep in mind doctors don't like the idea of cancer patients fasting because they're concerned about, about loss of muscle mass and, and patients not getting enough nutrition. So I'm not saying don't get nutrients, I'm saying don't get as many calories. Nutrients are always important and nutrients are not the same as calories. So making sure he's on a good nutritional supplement program, making sure he's eating nutrient dense foods at the same time as he's restricting his calories and certainly avoiding processed foods and anything that whacks out his digestive system should be avoided as well. Sugar is a no-no too. Cancer loves sugar. So keeping him uh, doing a low-carb ketogenic type diet or going uh, anti, uh, like an anti-diabetic diet. In fact, he can assume that he's got dysglycemia, if not frank diabetes. Dysglycemia mean, meaning messed up blood sugar. More protein can help. Not overdoing the protein because protein gets turned into sugar, but more protein, especially something called glutamine. Glutamine, I know you've heard of that. Glutamine is wonderful for helping the body deal with sugar, and glutamine also supports immune, the health of the immune system, so it can have anti-cancer benefits too. I'd be doing five grams or so, a teaspoon of glutamine powder every day. You can even double that. We were just talking about flax seeds. Get them on some flaxseed powder grinding up flax seeds every day, mixing them up with a little bit of protein powder. If he can do whey, that's great. If he can do the bone broth protein, that might even be better. A lot of folks who can't do whey can do the bone broth protein, and of course, bone broth has got anti-cancer amino acids in it, or I should say immune-boosting amino acids in it. It comes from cartilage, the bone broth protein. And speaking of cartilage, bone soup is one of the best all-time great anti-cancer foods. He should be subsisting as best as he can on bone soup, homemade bone soup, chicken soup with car, uh, where the cartilage is dissolved in the water using high hyaluronic acid supplements, vitamin C, and then all the fatty nutrients are going to be important as well. Omega-3 fatty acids, he'll get some of those in flax seeds, but I would be doing some Udo's Blend or his Ultimate EFAs. The Healthy Star Pack would be great for him. Fucoid Z. The prostate is extremely responsive to zinc. Picolinate, 50 milligrams a day, which will also support the immune system. Magnesium is also important. Selenium is not only anti-cancer and pro-immune system, but also helps fight cancer and is important for the prostate. He should be doing his ultimate selenium, maybe 600 micrograms a day. And then I would also be doing MSM sulfur. Um, MSM sulfur, maybe 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day. Glucosamine might help him as well. Pumpkin seeds, there's so, so many different things. Vitamin E can be helpful for the prostate. Beta-glucan, uh, no, beta for sure, restart your life, beta-glucan, uh, but also something called uh, beta-cetosterol. Uh, beta cetosterol, I think that's that's how you say it. Cytosterol, beta cytosterol, some people say. 300 milligrams a day. That's also great for folks who are dealing with BPH, benign prostatic hypertrophy. If you're going to the bathroom in the middle of the night a lot, BPH, uh, I'm sorry, um, beta cytosterol can help with that. Maybe 300 milligrams a day. I'm gonna I gotta get a couple more calls if I can, Elaine. But that's a ton of information for you. Hope that helps. And thanks for your call. Appreciate it from Alaska. All right, have All right. a great day, Elaine. Bye. Oh, that's it. I'm sorry. We're just out of time. You guys got to call in earlier on the bright side because um, we're going to take our uh, we're going to take our guests at the bottom of the hour. If you're on hold, I'm sorry. Call us tomorrow, and we'll get you. If we left you on hold, we'll get you first up tomorrow on the bright side. Coming back with Dr. Cass Ingram, we're going to talk turmeric. His new book is Wild Turmeric, which is uh, which is the plant that contains a wonderful, powerful active ingredient called curcumin. You're listening to the bright side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. I'm pharmacist Ben, and I am very excited to have our next guest on, uh, Dr. Cass Ingram. I've been following Dr. Ingram for a while. He's a nutritional physician. He's uh, got a BS in biology and chemistry and a DO. He's a DO as well. He's written zillions of books. Well, I don't know about zillions, but he's written a lot of books, Natural Cures for High Blood Pressure, The Miracles of Wild Oregano, Supermarket supermarket Cures, I think it was called, his last book one of the books I've read, uh, How to Eat Right and Live Longer. 
And uh, Dr. Ingram is now talking about turmeric. His latest book is called Wild Turmeric. You know, we've been talking about turmeric for a long time on this program. I'm a big fan of the stuff, curcumin being one of nature's most powerful polyphenol substances. Please welcome to the bright side, and it's my pleasure to talk to Dr. Cass Ingram. Good morning, Cass, hey, Dr. Cass. Good morning hey. to you. How, how are you getting along over there? I'm getting along good. Good to talk to you. Yeah. Sound like you're from sound like you're from Chicago. The it's, Bears. Well, it's, you got to throw wherever you are. You have to. Die. If I was from Canada, eh? so uh, are, it are you? you where are, I am. are you Canadian? No. No, just, you're not. Wherever I am, I just adopt the accent. Uh, okay, I, I got New it. York, I probably talk like a New Yorker or something. No, I met you in Canada, though. Are you going to be at the show again, the Toronto uh, show? Yeah, this year? yeah. Are you going to be Good hunkered day. around? I will be there, and I'm going to make sure I say hi and come up to your okay, uh, that come up to your booth. Great. Yeah. So yeah, how I'll the heck do you talking have... about reversing all inflammation with my new book, The Wild Turmeric Cure? That's I awesome. How, hey, that. Doctor Kaz, I want to talk about, about turmeric. We don't have a lot of time, but I want to ask you: How do you have time to write all these books? Well, I don't watch the te telly, and uh, so sometimes I'll just put an hour or, or half hour a day or every other day, and then it just accumulates. It just accumulates. And you yeah, just it just stream of consciousness, or do you have a bunch of yeah, research? Yeah, yeah, fixation. That's aw but that's once awesome. you get into it, you can just start writing. I love sometimes it. Well, I've been trying to do a little, huh? I've been trying to write a single book for years, and I'm just, it's, it's you just tough. You just have to do it. You just, yeah, you, just uh, you just have to throw your stuff into it. doesn't matter. Don't have to worry about editing. Just write, write, write. Maybe yeah. cut and paste a little. Write, write. And then you start worrying about it after, later. I just uh, just let it all get out. Get started. Huh? Okay. All right. I think that's good advice. You all right. So what, do it. what exactly is turmeric? Turmeric's a rhizome, which is in the root system of it's like grows like a weed in in India and Vietnam and Indonesia and such and so it's a it's a pretty powerful natural medicine. It was used as a drug back in Ayurvedic times. Is their number still one probably herb. S still uh, probably still I'm sure. Oh is yeah. It, do you think it's the most powerful medicinal the, the most medicinally powerful herbal substance? It is the most medicinally powerful broad spectrum spice. But as God. far as the most powerful, yeah. oregano is king because the oregano, like the P73 edible oregano oil or the juice of oregano, yeah. that aggressively obliterates disease. Got it. But so this is more broad, broad spectrum. Yeah. yeah, broad spectrum, general maintenance, overall health, turmeric is the number one. The number one most potent is wild oregano. I'll give you an example on wild oregano. Wild oregano destroys outright MRSA, Clostridium diff, Enterococcus, uh, all drug-resistant germs, mm. fatal uh, pathogens in the hospital that are killing people. If they would have the super strength oil of oregano at the bedside, all those lives would be saved. If they took turmeric, that wouldn't necessarily save Got the it. life at that point. Got it. So turmeric's more broad spectrum, but oregano's more potent, is how you're saying yeah. it. Yeah. Now, I, now, I don't want to digress too much, but are you talking about using the oregano as an essential oil in water and drinking it down, or using it as an essential oil no, straight? No, I mean, or? I'm using the olive oil emulsion of an edible uh -huh. wild oregano, that, uh, so that if I had to give somebody with a bad bacteria or virus or fungus, or, you know, for a month or two, I would be giving them something they, that's edible, wild. Not so much the essential oil. Essential oil you can use here and there, but uh, the spice oil is edible, like turmeric. You know? now, now, I know there's people listening and saying, how do I get this stuff? You got a website that has all this stuff on it? I don't sell much on web. But you can Where? see my books at CassIngram.com. There is a great website, AmericanWildFoods.com, that lists the wild turmeric and wild oregano, AmericanWildFoods.com, if you want to view that. And these but are the, the ones you recommend. Mom health food stores are pretty familiar with my work also, especially in the wild oregano domain. The oil of oregano, the juice of oregano, the Oregamax are very famous supplements for immune support. And turmeric is another thing. Now, I'm studying wild turmeric. I'm investigating. I put a couple YouTube videos. They could go to Cass Ingram Semicolon YouTube and see me working with the wild turmeric. It's extremely aggressive stuff. And um, I'm hoping to see that on the market in short order. All right, so turmeric is, is powerful stuff because it has an active ingredient in there called curcumin. Tell us a little bit about curcumin. Curcumin?
Pigment is the pigment. There's 240 active ingredients in, in turmeric, but the curcumin is about 4 to 5% of the weight. It's the deep yellow-orange pigment. It's, uh, it's not the only pigment. There's the turmerones. It's a very aggressive anti-inflammatory. It's a powerful antioxidant. It's anti-tumor. It helps stabilize blood sugar, but the big claim to fame of the curcumin is the fact that it's been isolated, it's been studied by in-house studies. That's not good enough. We need independent studies, but there's a lot of companies selling refined curcumin powder, as you know. And so there's, there's been a lot of studies by those companies, and it's you, well worth looking at. Do you um, think you get, do you get this, do you, would you say you get the same benefits from the isolated curcumin as you would from the wild turmeric? Wild turmeric's more potent than the isolate. Okay. Um, so, but that's because the isolate is also powerful. You know, you got to respect it all. Um, the problem with the isolate has been that the absorption has been poor. How can you uh, maximize it? How can you maximize absorption? It's, you see it on the t video. Uh, hopefully I'll publish a few more. All I found is that it's, it's, we're doing stupid things. We're isolating three out of 240 things, then it can't absorb. Then they try uh -huh. all kind of artifices like black pepper and black pepper extract. Now uh -huh. they're putting phytosomes from soy, genetically engineered uh -huh. soy. Now they're doing nanotech. They're surrounding the curcumin with nanotech gold and silver, which is poisonous. All you would have had to do, dummies, excuse me, was to just leave it alone in a whole food form. Got it. Then it so absorbs into the bloodstream. So, so what I found was that when you take the turmerones and the essential oils and you add it back to the curcuminoids, it's completely dissolved and it goes right into the bloodstream. Right into the bloodstream. Say that one more time. One, huh? Cass, say that one more time. If you add the curcumin to what? If you add the isolated curcumin to the crude matrix of this, uh, the rest of the extract, the mm. turmerones, the essential oils, you know mm. essential oils are like the blood of the plant? Right. Then if you, if you, took, a, if the, if you took that in capsule form, if you took that as drops, you wouldn't even need any black pepper because it goes right into the bloodstream. That's awesome. So mix, mixing, the the active in, mixing the active ingredient with the whole matrix of the plant will get you the, you'll get more bang for your buck from the turmeric because you'll be able to absorb the That's extra. That's right. So if, That's for example, awesome. if, if, exactly, if you made some turmeric milk and you took your turmeric capsules with it, you'd get better absorption because the turmeric milk is the whole complex. Well, like wait right a now, minute. Unfortunately, there is a great supplement. It's called turmeric Don't, milk. Don't leave us hanging. We got to know how you make turmeric milk, but we got to take a break. So we'll talk about that when we come back. Turmeric milk. That's awesome. All right. We're talking to Dr. Cass Ingram, one of the good guys, nutritional physician about wild, his book, Wild Turmeric. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Dr. Cass Ingram. His website is CassIngram.com, and it's got all kinds of good articles on there and products, and you can buy his books off there. Dr. Cass, before yeah. we went to break, before we went to break, we were talking about terma milk, turmeric milk. I noticed that it's on your website, but why don't you give us a little scoop on that? It sounds very intriguing. Okay, that one. If you go to just for fun, go to Cass Ingram semicolon YouTube, you'll see me doing some stuff with it, but basically what you do, you, if you, you've got some turmeric, maybe you just have that, but make sure it's organic or some kind of good one, and, and then you've got your almond milk or your grass-fed milk, so you have your honey, then you've got your butter, your coconut uh, fat, so you got all that laid out, you pour that milk, let's say you're going to make four cups, pour the four cups in. You level out four teaspoons of the turmeric. I like it that way. You could do a half teaspoon. Then you, and then you simmer it for about six or eight minutes. Then you add in your, your butter and your honey, and you have turmeric milk. But if you want it to be more delicious, and more robust, and more potent, and more well absorbed, then you do the formula, turma milk, which has the cinnamon salon, or the salon cinnamon, and has the organic ginger. This is all organic, so. You do that, same thing, teaspoon for every uh, cup, and, and same formula. There's many ways to do it. Some people like a little crushed black pepper, but let's go over it again. Let's say you just do the premix. So you take your turma milk, 
you take a teaspoon and you take out three, four teaspoons. You take that out, put it in a little cup. So you've got, you, you, you start simmering your, your almond milk and you whisk in that stuff. Keep simmering for eight minutes. At the six or eight minute mark, you add your butter or your coconut fat or both uh, and your raw honey or your yakon or your coconut sugar, what have you. But honey makes it very robust. Now, what do you mean by robust? Tasty? Oh, it, just, it just brings out the flavor. Okay, now I, uh, I got to tell you, I've been doing turmeric powder now for a while. I don't. I, I put honey in there because I don't like the taste of the turmeric. How does this stuff taste? Well, this is delicious. Is it? Is? Okay, because great. Because this is a combination of not only the wild turmeric, but also the salon cinnamon. And salon cinnamon is very, very tasty. Plus, okay, there's gotcha. the organic ginger. So this turma milk. Was a, I, did a, I did some sampling uh, for associates. It was a complete hit. Everybody okay. uh, is, is in love with the taste. And I don't do the coconut milk or, or the coconut fat. I like it with grass-fed butter or organic butter. So Got you it. add that butter with the honey, and you do get a deliciousness. Now, you can get that same deliciousness from just turmeric, but it's, it's much less bitter if you have it with the cinnamon and ginger. Got it. Now, but the butter and the coconut fat probably pull out some of those nutrients, too, I well, imagine. Well, they pull some... out the nutrients and drive them into the bloodstream. That's awesome. Now, how do you That's get the curcumin? I'm saying that you ought to, if you're going to take whatever turmeric supplement you're in love with, you ought to take do... it with a shot glass or a, an eight-ounce glass of turmeric milk. Turma milk uh, is the best, Ah, the fatty. So the turmeric milk imparts a little bit of lip, lipophilicity, a little bit of fattiness. There you go. To pull... it, it, uh... it, we know for sure from our experiments in the lab here, that, that you want to mycelize or, Got it. or lipidize that, 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 those, those curcuminoids that they don't absorb. That is awesome. Now, they're still now, healthy if they don't absorb because they block colon carcinogenesis and block polyp formation. And, you know, that, that's good. But we want it in the bloodstream so it can fight inflammation and syndrome X. Well, hang I mean, on, though. That's very interesting, though, Dr. Ingram. So you can use it in a – how would you use it to prevent or if somebody's dealing, God forbid, with colon cancer or polyps or some kind of colon health issue, you, you would use it in a different way? You would use it in a different way. You would you – would, if you had uh, colon carcinogenesis or if you had polyps or you have a family history of this, then you use three ways. You use the turmeric milk, but you put a higher dose. So maybe you put a couple of teaspoons for every cup of, of your almond milk. You use it more rich. Uh, you would use the coconut fat instead of the butter. The MCTs are important for prevention of cancer. You can use the butter, too, if it's organic. You, uh, you would make sure you use it with ginger because ginger is uh, highly anti-tumor. But then you'd want to try to take sublingual drops. Fortunately, there are some on the market. There's one called Termerol, and then the new one is Termer, uh, Termeric Power Plus Sublingual Drops. When you take is all this on your website? Drops, this is a ton of information, Dr. Ingram. Is all this on your website? I don't know. Okay, um, go ahead. If, <laughs> if, you, if, you take the, if you take the sublingual drops, it goes into the mesenteric blood, then into the colon. You know, that's how you want to do that. Now, how do you get, before we went to break, you were talking about adding curcumin to your turmeric milk. Where do you get the curcumin, the no, straight that curcumin? that one, if you have supplements, okay? So if you have your supplement and you want to take your pills of curcumin supplement, you take it with a cup with of term, uh, turmeric. Turmeric milk. Okay, gotcha. I'll make now, a video on this. I have many videos already on there. But do you have one on the turma milk? Do you have a recipe or the video I on the do. On I have the, I have a, uh, on the video. I even turn around the recipe and put an arrow there. The recipe's right there on the video. But basically, it's it's. Let's make one cup. One cup of milk, one teaspoon of turma milk, then some honey and uh, butter to taste. That's it. Okay, that's awesome. Is, this, this, now everybody this, at the house loves it. This Doctor, is on your you website. More turmeric milk, you know, every day. Doctor, Doctor Ingram, I'll tell you what. I have a lot of guests on this program. You give us more information than anybody has ever given us. So, and I'm going to, I'm going to personally review this program. Any for the listeners, you can review all these programs at brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com. Is this, is this recipe for the turmeric milk on a YouTube or on your website? Yes. Okay, good. On the right. YouTube, I show what you need. 
you pick any uh, nut milk you want. I show it there. I show the butter. I show the honey. I show the terma milk, and Good. I show the recipe. Is it in your book? It's in the book. The book has That's awesome. like eight recipes for turmeric milk. You choose. I'm, I'm getting the book as soon as we get off the air. I'm buying the book. That's awesome. You know, and, That's and, and awesome. And it has my original recipe. You don't have to buy it. I'll send you one. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. But I want to read yeah. it right away. I don't want to yeah. wait. Is it on Kindle? No, I Ki have to mail you one. Okay, the mail. I can send you a PDF. Yeah, send a PDF to Ben at ksco.com. I'm going to be talking Wait about a your book one for a while. Time. Ben at, at K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar.com. I can do that. Uh, and then be you can awesome. see all my recipes. You can start incorporating that into the system. Now keep keep yourself viewed for the for the launch of Turmeric Power Plus. Wild turmeric. 100% of the content is wild. Wild whole food turmeric drops and capsules. Keep where the is, on that. Where does yeah. the stuff grow? In India. But okay. the one for the the one for the terma milk is coming from Ceylon and India. Combination. And they say it's wild. It's not. In other words, it's harvested wild. It's not farmed. Harvested 100% wild. The wild root is about five times bigger. It's more dense in color. And it's 20% higher in curcuminoid than the organic one. And how do you get the, where do you find the wild one if you want to buy it by the pound or if you want to just go on? Uh, is there any way to... This is not common. It's, it's in the Terma milk. But if you email me, I might be able to find some sources. Uh, if you go to American Wild Foods, you can buy a big bag, 500 gram bag of wild organic turmeric from Chaw's Organics. It's right there. You know, that's a Canadian group. So it's Chaw's American, wild food. American Wild Foods. AmericanWildFoods.com. That'll help. At least you have a website where you can see the packages. All the turmeric powder on that site is wild, wild and organic. That, that's awesome. So if you buy oh my any God. powder there, it's wild. Yeah. Uh, now, you, you have a podcast, too, folks can listen to, right? I don't have a podcast yet, but I, and a lot of people interview me because of all my books, but uh, they, I have the YouTube channel, at least. Well, you got so much good information, Dr. Ingram. This has been a complete pleasure. I hope I can Wild call you. Wild turmeric is more effective for inflammation. I had a person with sciatica, had it for 20 years. She tried turmeric. She took the wild stuff. It blew it out in three days. Have a blood sugar. It's going to stabilize the blood sugar. It's going to fight against the syndrome X, especially the wild material. So that's going to be the turmeric, the terma milk, and also the wild turmeric extract. Okay, last question. Is it neuroactive at all, or is there oh, anything big, for anxiety? Big, yeah. big, <laughs> pituitary, pineal, hypothalamus, uh, cognitive awesome. function. There, you know the study where they found that people who ate curry powder twice a month had 10 a thousand percent less Alzheimer in India. Oh two or three goodness. times a week, or two or three times a month, curry powder. Dr. Cass, uh, we're no. just we're just flat out of time, buddy. That was awesome. That was one of the best interviews I've ever done. Thank you so much, Dr. Ingram. I'm, okay, I'm looking forward to seeing you away. next we'll month. See you soon. Have a beautiful day. That was an awesome interview. Oh my goodness, uh, Dr. Cass Ingram. Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening to Brightside. That was Dr. Ingram. You can check out his website at CassIngram.com. You can check out my website at BrightsideBen.com and check out our Truth Skin Health products at TruthTreatments.com. Thanks for listening, friends, to the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.